Hello everybody, Mark aka The Nerdy Punk coming to you on location from the movie theater where I just got done seeing Knives Out, which was a really, really good whodunit mystery type comedy film. Um, it kind of bordered a lot of genres. It's definitely aiming to be funny, but it also was very, very suspenseful. And I feel like a lot of movies like this have a tough time in finding that balance between suspense and comedy. And this one did it perfectly. Um, I really loved this movie. And there's a few reasons why. Uh, first of all is the performances. This cast is just incredible. Big names all over the place. Um, of course, the lead is Daniel Craig. I am a huge fan of Daniel Craig. And this is one of his best performances uh, ever, in my opinion. He plays this really good detective who has this very deep southern accent, which is interesting hearing it from Daniel Craig, who's a British guy. Um, he did something very similar in his performance in the film Logan Lucky a few years ago. He played a uh, character from the South in that and did a really good southern accent in that movie. That's what that kind of reminded me of, just the accent-based. But that was a great performance as well. If you haven't checked out Logan Lucky, I'd definitely recommend that one. But... Uh, this was an incredible performance from Daniel Craig, Tony Collette was in this, uh, Chris Evans, who of course is famous for being Captain America, his character is kind of the opposite of Captain America in this film, um, who else was in this, uh, the, the girl who played the lead, I can't remember her name, I, th I think it, her first name's Anna, and I can't remember her last name, but she was fantastic, absolutely fantastic in this role. And, of course, Christopher Plummer was in this, who plays the guy who gets murdered. Um, but, yeah, a couple reasons why I thought this... Other other reasons why I thought this was a great, great film was the writing was spectacular. It was incredibly funny, but it also did some things that are very different from a typical whodunit movie. Um, I love the whodunit or the murder mystery. I grew up watching those as a kid on TV, and they are more common on TV than in the movies. Uh, it's always great to get one every once in a while because it's just a genre that's not done as much anymore um, in the mainstream theaters. So it was really interesting, and it was a very different take on it. Um, the amount of information they give you early on in the film is very unique. Uh, in the first, with it, uh, there was a point in like the first thirty minutes of this movie, and this movie runs for two hours. Um, in the within the first thirty minutes, I thought, "What are they going to do from here?" Like, I was seriously questioning what the rest of the movie was going to look like because it felt like they gave you the ending within the first thirty minutes, and then it just blossoms into this really cool, cool story about. A lot of different things, but about a family basically tearing each other apart, pretty much, uh, with a lot of laughs along the way. So it's not depressing at all. But yeah, it's very, very unique take on the story uh, of a who done it, and incredible performances, great writing, very funny. The only things that I had a problem with, there's a couple, couple choices that I didn't like in terms of the characters of some people. Um, some, some of the believability tied in with that, like, there's a character who has a specific condition, and when you watch the movie, you're gonna know what I'm talking about, I'm not gonna give it away here, but the condition was not believable at all, um, to me anyway, but, uh, it, it kind of ties in with it being a comedy, like, I'm willing to, I'm willing to let a little bit of the believability go, considering it's a comedy, it's aiming for laughs and not being the most realistic. I also wish there was more backstory to the characters a little bit to get you to buy in a little bit more. Daniel Craig gives a fantastic performance, but I feel like I could have connected so much more with his character than I did. Um, also, it was very hard to like a lot of the characters. A lot of the characters make some pretty bad decisions. There's only one character, and that's of the, the main girl in the movie that you really get to connect with and feel for. The rest of the characters are kind of 
pieces of shit, to be honest, on the way they act in the movie. So you really, not a lot of likable characters in the film. But overall, though, those weaknesses are relatively small, and I would give this movie a 4 out of 5. Definitely one of my favorites uh, from the theaters this year. It might make its way onto my top 10 movies list, so stay in tune for that in the coming weeks or month. Um, and yeah, uh, go ahead and give me your thoughts down below on Knives Out if you've seen it. And I hope you guys have an amazing night. Bye.